Mark Mincola. I have a BA in psychology, an MA in nutrition, and a doctoral degree in health and human services. I'm a nutritional therapist, and for the past 30 years, I've transformed the lives of tens of thousands of people through my natural health care practice. Moreover, I've developed a safe, simple health assessment system that enables one to effectively self-analyze their state of health and the comfort of their own home. The system also enables one to develop their very own personalized disease prevention and nutrition plan. There are only two forms of medicine. Intervention, which seeks to address illness only after it's diagnosed, and prevention, which focuses on preventing illness long before it happens. Our nation's current projected health care expenditures are expected to reach over $5 trillion. 99% of that money will be spent on intervention and a mere 1% on prevention. This distorted intervention imbalance in our current health care system only serves to further empower the health care politics of Washington, Big Pharma, and the medical industrial complex. Unfortunately, the government has shown no interest in investing in the preventive health care education of its people. Sadly, our health care empowerment has taken a back seat to the powers of profit and politics. I believe that in order to have a truly healthy health care system, a nation must put forth an effort to educate, inspire, and empower its people to prevent illness and disease. At present, there are no such programs in sight, so I've dedicated my life to such an effort. I'm committed to revolutionizing health care in America by teaching what I've learned about illness and disease prevention from my 30 years and tens of thousands of health care consultations. I have transformational information to share. I'm committed to sharing it, and I'd like to begin with you right now. We've all been programmed to believe that the doctor plays the most vital role when it comes to piecing together our health care information. It's my contention that the patient is equally, if not more important to this process. Each one of us is more familiar with our own body, mind, and spirit than anyone else in the world. And because our body and mind continually exchange vital information through our nerves and muscles, there is no limit to what we can learn about ourselves once we learn to tap into the mind-body communication system. Let me explain. Every thought we have is transmitted from our mind to our brain and then onto our body. En route from our mind to our brain, each thought is evaluated by our brain's protection centers, the amygdala and the hippocampus. So all I need to do is say a word, and your brain's protection centers will immediately begin classifying that word as either having a positive or a negative energy influence. We all know the importance of listening to our bodies. Our bodies are always sending us signals about foods that strengthen us and foods that weaken us. If we ignore our bodies, we incur greater risk for developing disease. Electromagnetic muscle testing takes this concept of listening to your body to the next level. Adam's going to help me demonstrate this. He's going to raise up his arm. I'm going to ask him to give me good strength and good resistance. I'm tugging on that arm. He's got good strength and good resistance. Now, all I need to do is say a word like the word pain. His mind is digesting that word. It's processing the word pain. His nervous system and his muscles react to it as follows. How about the word pleasure? He's going to raise up his arm. He's going to soak up that word. His nervous system reflects a very positive and a very powerful muscular reaction. So all you need to do is hear words and your nervous system and your muscles are reacting and responding. We have a living radar dish called the human body. The body is a biofeedback system. The reason Adam's arm weakened when I said the word pain and strengthened when I said the word pleasure is because we all have a deeper awareness of what's best for our well-being. That's why we react physically to bad dreams and nightmares the way we do. These totally absurd imaginary thoughts will trigger a cascade of stress hormones that increase our perspiration and our heart rate and drain our vitality. Science has known for decades that this is how our mind, brain, and body communicate. But can we tap into this communication system for purposes of our health and disease prevention? And are the answers reliable? Once again, Adam's going to help me demonstrate a little bit further. He's going to raise his arm up, give me good muscular resistance. We're going to go a little further than pain and pleasure. We're going to give him some images regarding food and some images regarding his body's health and wellness. We're going to start off by connecting with his brain and his body, by asking him about his organs. How about liver? 
kidney, gallbladder, lungs. Okay? Let's go back and let's give him some more specifics. Let's imagine for a moment here that we could evaluate his energy's awareness of his lungs' lack of health today on a minus 1 to minus 10 scale. Obviously, minus 10 is worse than minus 1. So we're going to ask his mind-body to give us a little feedback regarding the lungs. His lungs today are minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. They're a minus 2. So again, minus 2 isn't as bad as minus 10, but giving the body these kind of comparisons suggests that he needs to do some work on his lungs. How about diet? What about if we call out foods? How about if we call out beef, chicken, um, cod, flounder, haddock? Obviously, white fish doesn't seem to be appealing to his energy field at this point. How about if we call out some vegetables, asparagus, green beans, broccoli, onions? How about if we call out spinach, scallions? So once again, the pungent vegetables don't seem to be very appealing. How about if we call out, for example, fruits, apples, peaches, pears? How about plums? How about grapefruit? So once again, the body is very specific about how it communicates with the mind and how it projects these images of answers and responses through the nervous system and muscular system. So once again, your body is a radar dish. It's a biofeedback system. I developed this electromagnetic muscle testing system to better enable us to self-analyze the energetic strengths and weaknesses of our body and mind and to help us customize our own personalized nutrition plan so that food can really take on the true power of medicine. I've conducted over 60,000 appointments over the past 28 years and continue to see evidence that we indeed know much more than we believe and that we can tap into what we don't know that we know. Your mind, your body, your nervous system, and your muscles react and respond to virtually all stimuli. So what if we ask Adam's mind body here to talk to us about what it wants to eat for a daily meal plan? Let's start with breakfast. Good and strong, resist. How about protein? Does he want protein at breakfast? Does he want a high starch carbohydrate breakfast? Bagels, bread, oatmeal, or cereal? No. Does he really prefer fruit for breakfast? Yes, he does. How many ounces of fruit at breakfast? One ounce, two, three, about four ounces of fruit at breakfast. We could do this all day long. How about dinner? Let's move ahead to dinner. Protein at dinner. Yes, one ounce, two, three, four, five, six ounces of protein at dinner. Raise up. Low starch carbohydrates, vegetables at dinner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One cup of vegetables. How about starch? Rice, potato, no starch at dinner. So you could detail with great specificity exactly what feedback you're getting from your mind-body regarding each of these proposed questions. Your mind and body, your nervous system and muscles react and respond to everything. The power to make the healthcare system work in America lies not solely with intervention, but with artful prevention. And the real solutions cannot be found in Washington with Big Pharma or the medical industrial complex. The answers lie within each of us. So I invite you to begin experimenting with electromagnetic muscle testing, and I encourage you and a loved one to continue working at home with EMT until you become more comfortable with the process and more proficient with the results. I promise you that EMT will help make a difference with your health. The more we engage in self-empowered disease prevention, the greater our nation's health will be. In the words of Hippocrates, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Thank you.